today's video, we're going to be talking about creating texture for 3D printing using SolidWorks 2019. Creating texture for a 3D printed part is a great way to give it a little bit of extra added realism, as well as masking some of the layer lines present with the traditional FDM 3D printing system. We'll start by taking a look at the model that I designed in SolidWorks specific for this tutorial. You'll notice on the back, I've isolated one of the features and created a small buffer face around it to make sure that any texture we apply doesn't affect the dimensional accuracy of that feature. We're only going to apply the texture to the back side, and we're going to leave the side with the logo on it intact. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our appearances, and this lets us select our 3D texture. You can find it under miscellaneous 3D texture, and you'll see you have quite a few options available to use. So we'll sort through until we find a good one. We're gonna use the knurled bump for this example, and we're going to apply it to the face that we're going to be adding the texture to. You have the option to apply it to the body, the feature, or the face. For this tutorial, we're just gonna go ahead and add it to the face. And we can see if we rotate around the model, we've only applied this texture to the side. It's also still only two-dimensional, so if we look at the side view, there's no real depth to it. We need to actually create a 3D texture first, and we do that by selecting the body and toggling the face. And we have a couple of different settings we can use now. We have a preview. This shows you what the triangulated mesh is gonna look like. By adjusting the texture refinement slider, we can add more triangles into our model to give us a more accurate representation of the geometry. The upside is you have a much more graphically accurate model. The downside is your file size can increase substantially. You'll want to play with it until you find a reasonable compromise between accuracy and file size. We can also adjust the offset to increase the depth of the feature. Once we're satisfied with the texture, we can click on the surface body and convert it into a mesh, which will give us a solid watertight model that can be used with various 3D printing programs. We can toggle the view of that by going back and forth and hiding the original surface body, just isolating our watertight mesh. This will be what our 3D printing slicer software interprets as a solid body. You'll notice we still have the solid body with the texture if we want to go back and make any additional changes to it. But we're going to hide this and export it as an STL. And we do that by just save as and selecting STL from the drop down menu. Now that we've finished modeling the part, it's time to bring it into GrabCAD print and take a look at it before we send it to the printer. The first thing we're going to do with the model after importing it is flipping it over so the diamond-shaped feature is on the bottom of the model. Taking a look at it, we can see that it's fairly coarse and most of the triangles are still present. Making a higher quality model will give us higher resolution at the cost of a larger file size. This part should be acceptable for printing out for a surface texture, so we're going to go ahead and check our printer settings before clicking the slice button, which is going to convert the file into a series of vertical slices. Scanning up and down the model, we can see that there's no visible errors, so this is a model that should render fairly accurately. We can also check the offset of the surface by getting a side view of the print, which will allow us to see the exact amount offset, verifying no support is needed on the front of the part. Now that it's ready, let's send it off to the printer. And now we come to our 3D printed part. Adding textures to 3D printed parts is a great tool to have in your toolkit and just another one of the very useful features in SOLIDWORKS 2019.